right, so in this video, I'm going to follow up on one of the questions that I got regarding the custom brushes in the ZBrush 4 iPad. So in the previous video, I covered that, yes, you can import any brush that you've created um, into the ZBrush 4 iPad, and it works the same way. So it's really, really fun to work with custom brushes. Uh, the new question that I got is regarding the custom brushes, but more to do with the IMM brushes. If you can create your own IMM brushes and bring it into the ZBrush 4 iPad, and the answer is yes. So I'm going to show you something that, uh, or a brush that is actually quite complex in the, t in, in the sense of it has a lot of polygons. So I'm going to click on the user brushes. So this one right here, uh, this is part of one of the packs that I have online called the horns and antlers. It's just a bunch of horns, uh, but you'll see they're quite complex. I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag and that creates the horns for this creature. Um, actually, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to use something a little bit different, maybe something like that. And I'm going to bring in the gizmo just like I do in the, in the PC version, just to adjust it and, and the placement and all of that. Right. But um, in terms of the of the complexity of these of these image or the these these meshes, right, that come with the IMM brush, um, you can see it is is actually quite heavy. Uh, so I just wanted to use that one as a as an example to show you that yes, you can bring in any IMM brush um, and then utilize it in the iPad for or in series for iPad so that um, you can create a quick concept uh, really quickly. So hopefully this helps. Again, if you have more questions, send them over.